Hey YouTube, Savandros here, and today I just wanted to go over this app that's quickly becoming one of my favorite art apps called Leonardo. So a few days I watched a video from this channel named Steve Zapata Art that was just um, kind of detailing this app and how good it is. So basically this app is just, it's, it's still a beta art app, but what's so amazing about it is that it has super fast brushes. I think the fastest, these are probably the fastest tools I've ever used. Um, it has an infinite canvas. I can just keep zooming out and draw wherever I want. And the last thing to me that's so cool is its exporting process is so cool because it's an infinite canvas. You just kind of go to an export tool and rather than having to do all the cropping that you normally would have to do, to get your art in the right space you just go and select the space of what you want to export and you just have a perfectly framed picture for whatever pose you're trying to get your character so i'm just going to jump into the features of this app which isn't much and that's actually what makes it so good so this was built for touchscreen devices um like the microsoft surface that's actually coming to different devices like regular it's already on all of windows um it's coming to ipad in the future and they should be ready for official release according to the website in 2026 that's what they're hoping for um but really what catches me so much is that this really feels like a, like what a sketchbook truly should feel like on digital um of course the infinite canvas is so nice so nice because you can just go anywhere and strike up so many ideas. If you're doing like character design, which I was doing in here a few days ago, you can just keep all of your ideas on one sheet and just keep moving around and creating as much as you want. You can view all your all the things you want for your character. Another thing that's so nice about this when it comes to the sketching um, process is that you can just like, make this app opaque um and you can just draw over your screen so what you could do is you could go to window opacity and you could just make this opaque and you can just use it to draw over your screen um take what ideas from whatever you're currently looking at on your screen and just turn it into a drawing and then when you want you just turn up your opacity again your drawings right here so something I've been doing is I've been using that with um, my reference app. Um, sometimes I have the reference app on top or sometimes I'm just drawing on top of the reference app and it makes it really easy for me to get like some quick studies. Um, and I guess this would also be good if you're like ever trying to trace things. Personally, I don't like to trace too much, but it could help you to complete it, it can help you in your process and when you learn to trace um it helps you with line weight it helps you with learning parts of the body and that could be great for studies like let's say if you're study, studying skeletons or anatomy just being able to draw exactly over things and identify different parts of the body i think this app would just come in handy a great way um Another thing I like about this is it's built for tablets. So you have like a totally movable um, layout menu and you can just put these things wherever you want. And it actually looks natural compared to like how many like different apps with movable windows look. Sometimes it just looks like it's cluttering your workspace, but this actually still looks pretty good. Um, and it even works pretty nice in portrait mode as well, which is something I very much like. Um, something that might be a little jarring with the infinite canvas is that the view can be like locked. Um, the, the screen can be locked, like you can lock how far you can zoom out basically, but you can just customize this here. So like right now, the most I can zoom out is 12.5% because I don't want to draw too far on my canvas. But if you want, you can just come in here and edit that. And what's so nice is this app really does not take much to learn because there's just not that much in it. 
Um, I, I learned this in probably like 30 minutes. You can just go to help, go to <laughs> view keyboard shortcuts or and the introduction videos and you'll be up and running in this app in no time. Um, what's interesting is that they don't have many brushes and there's no way to like really make your own brushes though you can customize the brushes that are already in the app. So they have eight base brushes, but in reality, they're all you need. And these things work so good. <laughs> like this thing is ridiculously fast to the point where I feel like all my lines are like so precise that I don't, I work, I feel like I can just sketch out the exact ideas I'm truly aiming to put on a paper instead of like struggling with the software. And whenever I am feeling a little bit like I'm not getting my lines good enough, I can just use the smoothing option and I can just edit this to get a little bit slower of a stroke. But I honestly feel like even without much smoothing or stabilization in this app, it just feels amazing, which is great because you get to draw it full speed and you still get very stable lines. Um, Something else that is nice is it incorporates some things that you see in other like tablet applications. Like if I'm on my regular line without smoothing, I can just hold my line and create straight lines. You know, um, that's something that's always nice. It does occasionally crash like it did just now, but it always easily, it always easily just reopens all of your work. It saves it well, and it works as well as your computer can handle with the infinite canvas really. Um, then it has nice shortcuts. Like for example, if you have a, so if you have a touchscreen computer, which I do, you can just put one finger on the screen and put your, oh, my bad. You have to put a brush. If you have one finger on the screen and you put your pen, you can just bring up your brush size. You just need to go to multi-touch and go to your settings and make sure you have this enabled right now. I can't enable it for some reason. It might be because I'm using my iPad along with my computer, but it's been working absolutely great so far. And then you just can use one finger to move around your canvas. It has a gesture where you just punch out fast and you can see your whole, um, canvas because it's an infinite canvas that can be huge. And then you just click where you want to go. So I could do it again, refine my drawing and click right here. Um, so yeah, that's nice as basic things you would want to use for color. You know, you could go to your round brush, bring out your color wheel and, you know, just go to work. Of course, there's also blending and a paint bucket tool. So here's a little bit of the blending. Then we have our paint bucket tool. You can turn up the threshold. And it feels pretty well um, compared to most other apps. Sometimes paint buckets can really annoy me. You do have to have closed lines in here. Like it's not like Clip Studio where it will close your lines for you. Um, but all in all works pretty well. Then you can do things like you can bring up this menu bar here, which actually isn't normally here. I forget exactly how I brought this up, but you can hold these um, different modifier keyboard shortcuts. So I, like I could hold shift to create straight lines. I can take it off. Um, let's say if I'm on my brush, I could click Alt to just use my picker tool and then it will just go straight back to my brush. Then, you know, you just use a bunch of different modifier keys and see how they work. You could also use undo and redo with these. One thing I don't like is that this isn't currently movable. I would love to have like a movable menu like that. Um, that's great. Then you have this full screen mode where you can just get the full drawing. You're just fully immersed in your canvas. And that's really nice to me. 
If you want, you can also turn off the infinite canvas on this app and just, you know, draw like it's a regular app. Um, so that's something you, it, like it's not too limited. Another thing that I would say I wish was also easier is I do like their lasso tool because once you lasso something, you can just automatically move it like this. Um, the only thing is their command, their transform tool is very buried. You have to go to select and then you have to go to adjust. Oh no, not even adjust. You go to edit and then you go to free transform. So I think that's a little buried. I wish that's something that they could just make a little bit more accessible. But of course you can always accept these really easily. You, you can um, access these really easily with keyboard shortcuts. And then it has like adaptive things that just pop up for the tool you're using. So now I could like flip this little selection I made up and down. I click done when I want to confirm my selection. I wish they could automate that a little bit. Like I don't have to click done every time I want to change my selection as well. Um, but yeah, aside from like a few small things, like this app has been a godsend when it comes to speed and studying. Um, so yeah, I recommend that you guys all try this out. It is a paid app, but they have a free trial for 15 days. It's both on the Windows Store. Or you can just download it online. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say just have fun with this. So yeah, I actually don't even want to make this too long a video. I would just say if you this sounds interesting to you, definitely just go out and try this app because it is really better feeling than I could even explain truly. Um, and you won't really understand it until you use it. So that's one big thing because I didn't even think it was that amazing. And then I used it and I was like, well, damn. So guys, definitely go and try out this app. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.